seed is a vessel for life. It's been passed on. It's been saved from generation to generation. We are here today and able to see the different kinds of seeds uh, around us because of uh, our forefathers that have been sharing this seed. I think we can also get to understand and um, appreciate the value of saving seed from a farmer that is actually on the ground. A, a planting system also, since under agroecological uh, method, we promote uh, minimum tillage. We promote minimum tillage. So, usually like uh, local maize gankata, this type of uh, uh, maize called, uh, called kafamba, usually each, at each and every station we put uh, three seeds. And uh, before we put the seed, you have to ensure that uh, organic fertilizer or bokashi it was already been applied so that you love your uh, plants that will germinate will germinate and finally you are going to have at least a better yield because see the growth of the plant is being supported from the time of germination in agroecology type of farming what we believe is this one there must be constant supply of elements in the soil Number two, even the quantity, the quantity and the elements, there must be diverse in types of all the elements that is going to support the plant. So that at the end of it all, you find that there will be balance in terms of elements and the microorganisms in the soil. How you apply the organic fertilizer? When you apply it in the soil like this, you don't have to leave it like this, go see. Because of direct sunlight, you find that all the elements we escape from here. Remember, when we are doing the production of this one, we have to ensure that there's a diverse in terms of nutrients, there's a diverse in terms of microorganisms. We want to build the soil so that the soil can feed the plant. So we have to ensure that we meet all the parameters like it. One, the, uh, this organic fertilizer, it needs to, to be comprised of diverse in terms of nutrients, in terms of microorganisms. This is the reason why even when we apply it, we have to ensure that at the end of the day, after application, you have to put some bit of soil on top of on top of uh, organic fertilizer to prevent it from direct sunlight. Then from there, that's when you put now your seed, you put your seeds like this. Immediately again you bar, you bury. So uh, after the, the plant maybe germinates and they get established, we find that they will go down and they will access all the organic fertilizer that you have applied underneath. And by so doing, we find that you are going to have a health uh, plant at an early stage. This consignment here on top, starting from here up to here, is written SNM, which is CD Native Microbes. What are we intending to achieve out of this? Is? This is an, agro, an agroecological way of multiplying the microorganisms. The reason why we are trying to do this, you find that in a virgin soil, you find that there are a lot of microorganisms. And the microorganism, why do you need microorganism in the soil? Organism in the soil is there to activate the presence of nutrients in the soil to ensure that the, uh, the nutrients in the soil they work in a, in a positive ion. Number two, since microorganisms are living organisms, you find that when they are there in the soil, they need to eat, they need to breathe. So oxygen, they will allow oxygen to enter the soil, meaning that if you plant the plant there, the place where you plant the where you planted your crops, if there are a lot of microorganisms, it means that your soil there will be loose. It won't be compacted because it means that in that soil there is life. All the traditional seeds we have got about 11 varieties. So we've just see it's just a fraction of what we have. So this is a combination of uh, two ty uh, three types of local local maize. I'm sure you are unable to identify the color because it has been coated. This is what we, what we call seed coated. When you look at it, someone might say, no, it's rotten, why is it like this? 
If you keep it like this, it can be there even for three years or so. It cannot be attacked by weevils. And you find that all the moisture is, is gone, so it can be kept like this. This is a purely traditional way of preserving seeds.